people often ask me how much a chemist makes, how much money a chemist makes a year. So I'm in the United States, so let's look at this in terms of US dollars. And the amount that a chemist makes will vary really quite widely from country to country and even within the United States from state to state. So to get an idea of how much a chemist makes, we'll compare it to the annual real median personal income in the United States. So in 2019, the Census Bureau, the US Census Bureau, stated that the annual median income is about $36,000. So that's the number that half the people make more, half the people make less. This is the occupational handbook, and it shows you all the different occupations in the US, how much they make, what people do, the education, and so on. So let's look at chemical technicians first. So a chemical technician, the median pay is about $50,000. So that's pretty good compared to that $36,000 median income. But remember, this is the median. Half the people make less, half the people make more. And it depends a lot on experience, how long you've been doing it. The good thing, you only need an associate's degree. Here in the US, that's a two-year degree, and it's got fairly decent job growth. There's a link in the description to this page where you learn what they do, work environment, how you become one, and so on. So for a chemical technician, not a long time in school, just two years, and you can do okay. Do remember that $49,000 seems like a lot of money, but once taxes are taken out, you pay rent, you pay food, that money goes pretty quick. Let's take a look at chemists and materials scientists. So here we're talking $80,000 a year. That's pretty good. Thing is, you need a bachelor's degree. That's four years. And realistically, to get to this $80,000, you're going to need some good experience and probably a PhD. But with experience and a PhD, you can go well above 80. Again, all the information here is listed. I'll have a link in the description. So chemical engineers, now we're talking $108,000 a year. That's three times the median pay in the US. You do need a bachelor's degree, and most likely you're gonna need a PhD to start reaching this level and above. A bachelor's degree is four years, a PhD often takes five or more years, so lots of time in school. A field that I'm interested in is environmental science. So environmental scientists, 73K a year, pretty good. But take a look at this, 8% growth per year, much faster than the average. So in the US, these environmental scientists and specialists, this has a faster job rate. There are more jobs being created. Bachelor's degree, though a PhD or a master's is gonna help you attain this and above. Let's look at one last career. You could teach high school if you had a degree in chemistry. So if you're a chemistry teacher, we're looking at 62K a year, that's pretty good. But this number, this is gonna vary really quite widely depending on where you live and how long you've been teaching. And in general, to teach chemistry in high school, you need a bachelor's degree. Decent job growth, and it's not a bad job. I did it for quite a while. Unfortunately, I couldn't find YouTube video creator in the Occupational Outlook Handbook. So perhaps they need to update their handbook to include one of the most important jobs in chemistry. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.